Welcome folks, nice to see you on this Thursday lunchtime. Well, welcome to Ladies on the Phones. As usual, the words for today are in the description box below. And if you want to contact us, Ian state the details for the hill also. We're here to pray, so let's calm ourselves and start by saying, No one has seen God. God's only Son, who is nearest to the Father's heart, has made him known. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hear us, Shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock. You who sit enthroned between the cherubim, shine forth. Awaken your might, come and save us. Restore us, O God, make your face shine on us, that we may be saved. Today's psalm is Psalm 44, Psalm 44. We have heard with our ears, O God, our fathers have told us what you did in their days, in days long ago. With your hand you drove out the nations and planted our fathers. You crushed the people and made our fathers flourish. It was not by the sword that they won the land, nor did their arm bring them victory. It was your right hand, your arm, and the light of your face, for you loved them. You are my king and my God, who decrees victory for Jacob. Through you were pushed back our enemies. Through your name we trampled our foes. I do not trust in my bow. My sword does not bring me victory. But you give us victory over our enemies. You put our adversaries to shame. In God, we make our boast all day long, and we will praise your name forever. But now you have rejected and humbled us. You no longer guard with our, enemy, our armies. You, you made us retreat before the enemy, and our adversaries have plundered us. You gave us up to be devoured like sheep, and have scattered us among the nations. You sold our people for a pittance, gaining nothing from their sale. You have made us a reproach to our neighbours, the scorn and derision of those around us. You have made us a byword among the nations. The people shake their heads at us. My disgrace is before me all day long, and my face is covered with shame at the taunts of those who reproach and revile me. Because of the enemy, he is bent on revenge. All this happened to us, though we had not forgiven you or been false to your covenant. Our hearts had not turned back, our feet had not strayed from your path, but you crushed us and made us haunt for jackals and covered us over with deep darkness. If we had forgotten the name of our God or spread out our hands, to a foreign god, would not God have discovered it, since he knows the secrets of the heart? Yet for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. Awake, O Lord, why do you sleep? Rouse yourself. Do not reject us forever. Why do you hide your face and forget our misery and oppression? We are brought down to the dust, our bodies pine to the ground. Rise up and help us, redeem us because of your unfailing love. Come on to the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Fill it. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Continue to Luke's Gospel. Still on Luke 17. 
verses 22 to 25. Then he said to his disciples, Time is coming when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. Men will tell you, There he is, or here he is. Do not go running off after them. For the Son of Man is in his day, will be light to lightning, which flashes and lights up the sky from one end to the other. But first he must suffer many things and be rejected by the generation. Shall we pray together? God, our hope, we rejoice that you became flesh and made your dwelling among us and we long for your return. As we wait for your coming again and for the end of sorrow, pain and death, we are bold to ask in the name of Jesus for your kingdom to be made known among us now. Lead us by the groaning of your spirit to pray for ourselves and our suffering world. We'll now have a time of silent prayer where you can pray for the things which are on your heart. We pray in silence. Shall we pray together? Eternal God, for whom all people wait and search, even when they do not know it, open the eyes of the blind that they might see you. Open our eyes that have been closed by fear or blinded by self-pity, that we might see you even in the anxieties and uncertainties of our time, and in seeing you be both comforted by your presence and made uncomfortable enough to seek to serve you, who is and was and is to come. Amen. Eternal God, you have set before us the great hope that your kingdom will come on earth and have taught us to pray for its coming. Make us ready to thank you for the signs of its dawning and to pray and work for the perfect day when your will shall be done on earth as it is in heaven, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Amen. Thank you, God, for listening to our prayers again today. Hopefully, we'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.